Hi there. Do you think you know whether it makes more sense to take the annuity payout option or the lump sum payout option from your pension? Well, by the end of this video, I'll make sure you know precisely which option is best uh, before you go signing on that dotted line. Uh, my name is Michael Malone, and uh, for the best annuity advice and information, do, do be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel here. And then also be sure to click on that uh, notification bell uh, so that you'll be notified when I upload other new videos. Now first, in really answering this question, you're gonna want to uh, really identify two different um, areas of your pension. The first one is you're gonna to wanna to reach out to your pension provider. It probably may be your HR department with the company that you're working for. And you're going to want to determine, first of all, what the cash value is uh, available in that lump sum option uh, of your pension. So first, uh, ask them what the lump sum option is, what that cash value is, if you took the lump sum. And the second factor you wanna figure out initially about your pension is looking at the uh, annuity payout options in that pension. So again, getting to the answer to this question, the first thing you wanna do is reach out uh, to your pension provider, find out what that cash lump sum value is, and then also take a look at what your uh, annual income annuity options are if you took the annuity in your pension. Now to clarify, let's break these down a little bit. The cash value of your pension, that information you're trying to gather, the cash value of your pension is the lump sum value available to you if you took the lump sum option. So when you reach out, you wanna find out, hey, if I took that lump sum option available to me, from my pension, what is that cash value? So just to clarify, that's what the cash value is, is your lump sum payout option, and that's the first information that we're gathering here. And by the way, if you'd like to have some professional guidance as you move through figuring these uh, things out and moving through these steps, uh, do feel free to uh, click on the link down below uh, to apply to become my client. And once you're done watching this video, I would recommend checking out the other video that I've created called how to create a personal pension using an annuity. The reason why I would suggest that video for you is that in that video, you're actually gonna learn a little bit more in depth about the similarities between a pension with your company and an annuity that you may invest in outside of uh, your company and how that may possibly give you more control as well. Uh, and I'll uh, include the link to that video for you in the, uh, in the description down below. Now, in regards to the annual income options that you're asking your, your pension provider about, when you're asking about those annual income options, I just wanna clarify, you wanna make sure you gather all of the options that you have. You wanna look at all of them. You wanna look at the different time frames that are available and the different options that they're offering you. Um, you wanna look at maybe the different options of including your spouse in the income that you would receive from your pension, et cetera. So be sure that when you're asking about the annual income options in your pension, to really make sure you get all of your different options that are available to you in those payouts. Now, once you have these two factors from your pension at, at work, really what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look outside of that pension and, and, and look at other possible annuities that you might be able to invest in away from your company, outside of your pension. And you're gonna to wanna to narrow that down to um, what is the annuity that you want to use. Once you narrow it down to the annuity that you may want to use instead of your pension, um, really most importantly in that annuity outside of your pension, you want to determine what the guaranteed retirement income benefit is in that annuity to continue the analysis here. We're really gonna simplify this and get this down to a yes or no, but first you want to, you know, like I said, determine which annuity you're gonna use. But once you've determined that annuity, you want to get down for this next calculation to what is the guaranteed retirement income benefit offered uh, by the annuity that you've chosen. Now the next and final step uh, is, is really pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, what you're going to do now that you've kind of determined that annuity that you may possibly use and you've really uh, determined what that guaranteed retirement income is going to be, what that rate of income would be offered to you, all you're going to do to really kind of get these numbers to compare, you're gonna look at the lump sum cash value 
that was offered to you by your pension at your, at your company, you're going to take that lump sum cash value and you're going to multiply it times the guaranteed retirement income percentage um, offered to you by the outside annuity. Really what this is going to do is this is going to show you that if I took the lump sum cash value available from my pension and I were to move that over into the annuity that I've chosen, what income would that generate based on the guaranteed retirement income benefit rate from the annuity? And then at that point, you're going to be able to really sit down and look at the guaranteed retirement income offered to you from the annuity and compare it to the uh, income options available to you in your pension. And once you have you know, the uh, available annuity options uh, sitting in front of you from your pension, and you have the guaranteed retirement income annuity numbers offered to you from say an outside annuity, like I said, it's gonna be very straightforward to look at the guaranteed retirement income from the annuity compared to the annual income options from your pension. Uh, you're really gonna look and see which one offers you the best income, and that will help you answer you know, whether it makes the most sense uh, to take advantage of the annual income options in your pension or to take the lump sum option in your pension and move that over to an outside annuity. And once again, if you would like to have my professional guidance as you move through these steps in determining this answer, um, do feel free to click on the link down below to apply to become my client. And uh, you know, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel here and, uh, and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope something good happens to you out there today.